everyone. In this video, you're going to learn a little bit more about WordPress 5, okay, and also the Gutenberg interface. So we're, there, we're basically talking about uh, how to use the new tools that is provided by WordPress to be able to do up a blog for your website. We are now in our website. Uh, of course, we have to go into our dashboard, right? We're gonna create a new article right now. So just go into all posts, okay? And click on add new, right? Now, if you don't see the same screen that I have right now, it means that your, it's either your WordPress is maybe an earlier version than version five, or you actually have another plugin installed on your uh, website, which is called the Classic Editor. You might want to disable that plugin first, all right? So, uh, if you're seeing the same screen that I do or something similar, all right, you're good to go because welcome to the Gutenberg interface. So, add title basically means the page title. Okay, now, not just that, you can actually put in, you know, some paragraphs, start typing your sentences here or your paragraphs here. All right. All right, so every time you press on enter, it will actually start a new line automatically for you. So you can basically paste in uh, uh, a paragraph if you want to. Okay, and you can actually insert images as well. So you just press enter, okay, and you can click on the add block. Okay, Gartenberg is basically a very block-based system. So every single thing that you can add in your website, they are all called blocks, all right? So there are many blocks. There are blocks for paragraph, there are blocks for images, there's block for heading, list, code, audio, and some even... Um, videos, okay, forms. So everything is almost there in Gartenberg, all right? So I'm just going to add an image, okay, upload an image, just to show you what you can do right now. Huh? So the image here, when after I upload, uh, you will see it a bit grayed out, which is normal. It's just uploading it. But you can continue working with your article while it's uploading something. And you can basically use the area here on the right-hand side. Each block actually has its own properties. So what you can do is basically change things like the alternate text, change how your image looks like. Maybe you want a smaller image, all right? Or even change how it looks like, okay? In styles, you can actually change it to a different style if you want to. Maybe you prefer a more circular image, okay? And you can actually change the alignment here. Let's say you want to actually change, uh, make, make the image align center. So you can change the alignment here as well, all right? So it's a very, very simple and easy way to put in content, okay? So I'm just going to start another new sentence. Okay, now I can change this headline into a heading. Okay, so I can just click on the change block type or style and change it to anything else that you want. So I'm just changing it to a heading, okay, and I can change it to any level of heading that I want. But of course, you know, heading 2 is just fine, okay, as long as people is able to tell what content is it. Just copy and pasting a few more texts, okay? Just to give you a little bit more idea on what else you can do on Gartenberg. How to insert links, all right? Okay, so you can actually highlight a line of text and you can click on the link button here, okay? So just go ahead and put in, you know, your URL, okay? Not just that, you can actually change the setting here to open it in your new tab. All right, if you're pointing elsewhere other than your own website, it's probably a good idea to turn this setting on as well. Okay, so after that, you just click on the submit button. Okay, 
So that's one idea that you can do with your article. You can actually uh, do some basic formatting as well. Just highlight the line of text, okay? And go ahead and click on any italization that you want, okay? You can also further align your text on the right-hand side or maybe centralize your text. Very, very easy to use, okay? Although maybe the interface at the first uh, time that you're seeing this is probably a little bit daunting, a little bit strange, okay? But the more you use it, the, the more familiar that you get and you actually start to enjoy doing up articles for your website. Now, I do have a series of videos that teach you a bit more about Gartenberg. Uh, for example, how to put uh, videos, how to put in a form, and how to do advanced layouts inside your article. Okay, so do look out for that series coming soon, yeah? Hi everyone, thanks for watching the video and uh, don't forget to click on subscribe and uh, click on the bell, okay? Uh, so to keep uh, informed of new upcoming videos on the channel. Until then, see you in the next video.